meantime, everybody, hope y'all doing all right out there this evening. Please take time to like and subscribe to my YouTube channel, guys. Uh, come over and join us on Patreon. Check out our Patreon, guys. A lot of good stuff going on over there. That's going to drive me crazy. Patreon, giveaways, perks, discounts. We have a bunch of giveaways over there. So, just want to invite you all to come over and join. Alrighty, guys, we'll get our striker 955. Oh, yeah, if you don't want to join our Patreon, you can join our YouTube, too. Don't collect that color. Join, join our YouTube members. Just come by on Patreon. So. All right, guys. We got a striker 955. And what's in question here is not really about the radio. Customer asked me, he said, can you make me a heavy power cord? I said, well, I never really thought about it, you know. You know, just kind of. Striker is what it is, you know. So well, I'll make you one, man. Ain't no problem. Well, I got thinking about it, studied on it. All right, we're looking at 14.4 volts right there. This is the regular striker power cord that come in the thing that's hooked up. There's the one I made, a uh, 10 gauge OSC copper. Okay, a 10 gauge zipline OSC copper. So let's see what it does with the regular. One. First thing, let's watch the meter up here. Hello, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, one, two, it drops down to 14.0, okay? One, two, one, two. It's drawing one, two, one, two, one, two, about 6.2 amps off this apparatus here. 4.37. Hello, we're looking at about 79 watts of swing. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Oh, we'll come over here and peek and look at our bird. Try to remember all this because I won't. Hello, one, two, three, 70 watt swing, 70 watt swing. We're about 80 watt swing right there. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. All right, guys. So you see that that's dropping down to 14.0, 80 watt swing. It's drawing somewhere around five, six amps. Just for curiosity, let's try this. I'm gonna unplug the power cord, maybe, if I can. So that's a brand new power cord, brand new radio too. All right, we're gonna plug in the custom 10 gauge. OFC copper power wire. I know a lot of guys have been using eight. I thought that'd be kind of an overstretch because it'd be too big and bulky. So I want a 10 OFC zip line. Kind of keep it together. I know it looks like a mess, but you know, just kind of keep it together. So let's see what happens. First off, let's get the front of the radio with my power cord. Hello, 10 gauge power cord, 10 gauge power cord, 10 gauge power cord. We only dropped down to 14.3. 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2. So we gained a little voltage there. Come on, we're looking at our um, amperage draw. 1, 2, 3. We're drawing with 6.5 amps. So it's done 6. 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2. 14 37. That's with the bigger power cord. Hello, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. We're doing 82 pp on the LP. 83. 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2. Are you one, two, three? Hello, hello, hello. Let's just say 82. This one with the bird because LP jumps around. On the bird, was getting 80 while ago. Let's see. The middle scale 10s, 20, 30, 40, 50. No, 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 no. I'll get it right here in a minute. You're going to be reading with 100 watt scale. You're going to be reading that bottom scale 20, 40, 60, 80, and 100. Okay? Hello, one, two, three, we was getting 80 while ago. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, we're almost getting 87, 88. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, hello, ideal. So we come up five or six watts with the new power cord. And um, lost a little voltage drop right there. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. So if you want to get five or six more watts out of your striker for free without doing really nothing, that's ever free. Just come over here and build you a power cord. Of course, I think some guys trying to sell these things for eighty nine dollars, man. I was like, what the hell? Excuse my language. Hello, one two one two one two. Set goes down. Factory cord, factory cord, factory cord, factory cord, factory cord. Go back on the PUP. Under what? Hello, one two one two one two one two one two one two. Under what? Seventy nine right now. Seventy nine. We was like eighty five or six a while ago. So that's an easy six, seven watts, maybe eight watts. Close, you probably can probably get close to 10 watts, but let's just say seven or eight to be to be exact. So I thought I'd make this video, guys, show you the difference in the cords. So you can see what it's worth to you. Uh, it's an easy extra watch out of a striker. And uh, 
here's the cord I made. I gotta wind it up and make it look better, but it's a, it is a uh, 10 gauge zip wire OSA copper cord. Just a heat shrink up there real nice and put on there to get just a little more power. So that's an easy way to get a little more power out of strikers, guys. If you want just a little more power, you can get seven, anywhere from seven to 10 watts extra just by changing the heavy duty power cord. Alrighty guys, I hope this information helped you guys out there. Uh, appreciate you watching guys. Uh, please take time to uh, like and subscribe to the YouTube channel guys. Come over on Patreon and check us out guys. We'd love to have you over there. Discounts, giveaways, perks. Lowest tier is like $3 a month. Uh, or if you don't do that, you can join our YouTube channel. I think it's like lowest tier is like $3.99 a month on YouTube. They're combined together. Check out our merch store. Alright guys, I hope this helped y'all get a little more power out of your striker than anybody could do. Y'all take care. Your friend 10, 018 Beavis. Donkey Stomper. Bye-bye.